another, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm yep. Just like that, base hit into left field. <laughs> Just to say, I'm setting the over or under on hits for Madrigal this weekend at six. And that one is lined and up the middle of the base hit. Has the lunging Iglesias. Madrigal not stopping. Racing for second is VR, and he's in. Well, that was poorly handled by the Rockies and well done by the Cubs in terms of the base running. Madrigal aggressive and VR alert. And that one towards the hole, backhanded, long throw, and Schwindel dives in. He's safe, run scores, VR to third, and it's 1-0. Infield single for Frank the Tank. Well placed right there. Yeah, I think it's tough to make a living in this ballpark if you're not a pitcher who strikes out a lot of people. You know, that, there's such a premium on keeping the ball out of play as a pitcher and conversely putting it in play for the, for the hitters, and the Cubs have done just that. And that one inside, snap throw to third, and it gets away. In to score is VR. Racing around second on his way to third is Schwindel, and it's 2 0. So some shaky defense from the Rockies here in the early going. Now this is a design play. Diaz calls for that inside fastball so he could try this pick play at third base. Got a little too amped up, overthrew his third baseman, and a cheap run comes home for the Cubs. Seiya Suzuki. And that one drilled out towards left center field. That's going to find space, and that's going to roll. In to score is Schwindel. Suzuki cruises into second. Seiya knocks in his 10th run of the season, and it's 3-0. Welcome to Coors Field, everybody. Here we go. <laughs> That's the other over-under we should have. How many runs are going to be scored in this four-game set in Jeopardy? He gets a, a lot of swing and miss, and he did right there on a good slider, and he finishes off Blackman. Now one of the talking points that we always bring up here in Denver is how much action you get on your breaking pitch at altitude. Still gets plenty of action on that one for the a, a, a junior out of college. This is toward the open side. Madrigal spins and was it bobbled still? Evidently at first, Wendell held on, securing the baseball for the out. So it's second and third, two gone. Check swing and he went, struck him out. So Justin Steele pitches around the error and looks sharp and the pitch. And that one is drilled in the air right field chasing back Blackman near the wall off the top of the wall and VR around first racing for second he will stop there he's got a double and VR is two out of two and he's down nine for ten that's nine hundred. Next pitch is a ground ball hit up the middle grabbed by Iglesias spins and fires toward first base on one hop out at first base what a play. Nice grab by C.J. Crone, but a better play by the shortstop to get to that ball and throw out the runner. And then holding still at second base is VR. What a play by Iglesias to take a hit away from Schwindel. The most important thing on that is getting yourself in a position to make that throw to first base. And he did a great job. You see his head pull around, pick up C.J. Crone, and throw a strike. Gomes lines is to right, and Charlie will make the catch. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. And oh, nobody can they get the double play? play. Yep, they, yeah. they, 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 they got it. They no got run. It. Wow. Yeah. What a blunder by Suzuki at first. It cost the Cubs a run. I'm going to throw shame at everybody. CJ Crone thought it was three outs. He didn't realize it. So that's shame on him. Mike Napoli's a first base coach. I think he forgot that there was three outs. Shame on you. Shame on Seiya Suzuki. Shame on everybody. Chris Bryant. And a base hit to left. So Bryant, six games as a Rocky. He's got a hit in all six. That's good A-B, Sully. It was. Obviously, we got to see the slider. I think he mixed in a slow curveball as well. And for the hit, I'm thinking it's just, yeah, just a little slider as well, maybe a little cutter. A little in, catches the inside part of the plate. The thing I like about Chris is that he stays in his legs so well. He's so quiet. In that first inning. There you go, Justin Steele gets Crone to chase upstairs, and that ends the bottom of the third. Now what foul tipped into the mitt of Jan Gomes, and it's a strikeout. And there's one away. He's got Rogers both times. And that's one, two, three, four strikeouts. Nice year last year, a career best 18 home runs. Popped up, Madrigal. 
Suzuki charging in. Suzuki calls it off, and then the ball falls. And they can't get the force at second. Is there a full moon tonight? A lot of strange things going on here. And it's a double play ball. Six four three ends the threat for the Rockies to the fifth we go. And another base hit. Dodgers got a hustle. He was going back to second. They could get the force out. Out at third. Dodgers say no I beat it. Boy that that was a strange read from Daza because when it got through he, you know he froze on the line drive but when it went through he went the other direction. Yeah, he thinks he's it's gonna get caught. He goes all the way back. Nick Madrigal fakes him out too. Deeks him. Well, the Rockies first baseman. And that's driven the gap in left center. The Rockies are getting on the board as Charlie will come around and score and a stop sign at third base for Chris Bryant. Three to one. CJ Crone coming through. His team leading sixth RBI. He gets a hanging off speed pitch and he just drops the barrel right on himself. Ball four. That forces in a run. McMahon wins the AB. Bryant comes on down the lane and the Rockies are within a run. That was a great battle from Brian McMahon. 3 0, you get in a, in a fight. With 3 2, you end up working the walk. This ball is driven to left field, playable in left center. Three and a half. Got it off the end. Schwindel lifts that in the air right field. Going back and looking is Blackman, and it's off the top of the fence and gone. And Schwindel bounces that one out. And the Cubs pick up a run to make it 4 2. And for Frank, it's his first of the year. We'll board with one out. On the ground, and that gets through. Base hit. Here comes Gomes around third. He's in to score. Hap delivers an RBI single the other way, and the Cubs add another, and it's now 5 2. That's nine hits in the ballgame for the Cubs. Ian Hap is doing good work from the right side of the plate so far this year, and a lot of it has been to this side of the diamond. Nine bases. And the Rockies twist this one. There's one on the first wow. double play. And a double play ball. Iglesias to Rogers. That's the fifth double play of the night for the Rockies. They're going to be fun to watch. Those two in 2018. This is tapped. Lawrence will have to hustle. How about the arm strength? Wow. Well, when you can throw 100, you can do what he just did, Sully. One and two on Connor Joe. Does that, is, that, that was not on the swing. That was a call oh, strike by Marty Foster. Save opportunity for the former Rocky. 2-2. Two, two. Man at first, two outs. Got him swinging. Ball game. Cubs win. Gibbons closes it out. 5-2 the final. And the Cubs take game one here at Coors.